Welcome to Wolf Dan's Saturday set. We have been letting the punting nation down. We don't feel good about it, but this is the life that we've chosen. We need to pull the socks up, put the mouth guard back in and keep charging forward. Kingzone, how are you? I tipped the Cranbourne Cup winner last week, so don't get stuck into me. I also good. tipped the a, gong winner, okay. but my ba- main best bets were very disappointing. One went down at evens, another went down at evens. So you were unlucky. Yeah. yeah. Well, we don't. I get don't want to be one of those shows where says, "Oh, we're unlucky," but I guess uh, that's, no. That's I actually don't think they were unlucky. Lucky. They were ridden perfectly. Had every possible hope and were disappointing more than okay. unlucky. Well said. But well said. Yeah. How about you, Fizzer? Yeah, mine just halve their price and then lose. So <laughs> what, do you, what do you do? You keep gotta, betting. You just got to keep betting. I did tip one winner and it was two forty out to four dollars. So it's bizarre. The betting's just got me dazzled at the moment. We'll be right. Big we'll goes be right. have been losing. I'm mm. um, just a little bit of housekeeping. Firstly, our friends at the Melbourne Racing Club done it again. Free tickets to Caulfield. It's a little bit confusing because the Sandown Guineas and the Zipping Classics at Caulfield. But they've called Ooh. the race day Saturdays. They've got lots of DJs. It looks epic. Mm. It's something you'd like, Fizzy. You love, you love all that kind of stuff. I think that's more your go, mate. <laughs> go to dance parties by yourself. So we'll put the link in. The, well, that is true. Uh, we will put the link in the description. And all you have to do is hit it. You get four free tickets. Head out to Might Caulfield. Might just be three tickets now because you're already going to take one. <laughs> right. Dance parties. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> and uh, enjoy the day out there. Curtis and Melbourne Racing Club. We appreciate what they've done for all of our viewers all through the year apparently has been really good uptake, so it suits them, it suits us, suits everybody. Very, very good. Let's talk about those feature races at Caulfield. The Sandown Guineas, Group 2 for three-year-olds, 1,600 metres. Fizzer. Arkansas kid. It was a leader's bias, I think, last time it ran over 1,400. Came from worse than midfield, ran on nicely. Looks a good setup. Happy to be on it. As a, is that an official Saturday set tip or just an overlay? No, nope, just, just the, you, the, the race, that cool. one. Great. Um, I, th- I was a little bit against the fizzy here. I thought Arkansas Kid was a little bit too short at $2.30. Yeah, it was a bit leaderish, but they went super hard early in the sectionals that it came home in weren't super impressive off my numbers. Uh, Mow down as well. I thought maps really poorly. There's a second pick. Um, I was more leaning towards two horses, Power of the Brave, which comes down from Sydney, and Vivier, Vivier who's coming out of the 1,000 guineas. So I'm not saying the favourites can't win. I just thought they were just a bit too short in the market. Okay, very good. Let's move on to one of the great races of the spring, the Zipping Classic, named after that great Lord Williams horse, Zipping. I think won it four times in a row. Group Mm. two, 2,400 metres. Fizz? Deny knowledge for me. Not a bet uh, official tip, just that's what I've got top pick. Okay. Yep. King Zone? Uh, Yeah, Zipping, do you know how many times it uh, ran in the Melbourne Cup and then won the Zipping Classic? Was it sort of every time? Do you know, Fizz, how many times Zipping ran in the Melbourne Cup? I don't don't think Zipping ran in the Melbourne Cup that much. Yeah, mm. I think I think even in later years, possibly they just ran in. The, they, they forgot about the Melbourne Cup and just ran in the, the what was the Sandown Cup or whatever it was. Called. No worries. Yeah, I haven't looked at it, but the reason I'm asking is because I like two horses coming out of the Melbourne Cup. Okay. The top one, Vow and Declare, uh, which ran ninth in the Melbourne Cup, was but was flying absolutely flying prior to that. Uh, the other one I like coming out of the Cup is Serpentine, which didn't it failed in the Cup, um, but it's been a bit of uh, time in between. $15 looks a good price to me. And the other one is Banker's Choice, which is going to 2400 for the first time, um, but looks good value at around the $10 mark. Awesome. We're going to move over to Perth, the winter bottom, Group 1, 1,200 metres. What are we thinking, Fizz? I think Kings and I have found one of the same horses. Anyway, I've got overpass clear. Um, it's coming out of much stronger races than this. It won it, I think it won it last year. And, um, yeah, they've gone over there for the kill. Bjorn Baker and Josh Parr again. Barrier 11's no problem. She'll push forward. And, um, can't, yeah, very hard to go past. Cool. Yeah, I'm with Fizz. Overpass, an official Saturday set tip for official. me. Yeah, I'm going to have a good bet on overpass. I saw Ladbrokes leading the way at $3.10, which they've been taking <coughs> taking me on a fair bit lately, which yes. I don't know if it's just it's coincidence. Been talk, it's or, been the talk of Twitter. Yeah, how has it? I'm not on Twitter, <laughs> but, yeah. Interesting. Uh, the one that Quokka fits. Yep. Don't know if it did win the winter bottom last year as well, but I know that um, over the last one, we the should Quokka. know. Yeah, jewel was favourite. Right, yeah. yeah. Uh, and, yeah, has trialled since failing in the Everest. The other two which were right on their price and I thought were the dangers for exotic players were Red Can Man and also number four, uh, Hot Zed. Cool. Well, you've got the momentum, so why don't you continue with your Saturday set? Uh, yeah, right. I know where he's. Revolutionary Miss in Caulfield, race nine, number one. There's not much pace in this race. Revolution has drawn out in 10, should have the speed to cross and control the race. Very, very consistent horse in this grade. It's a group three, but it's a really, really weak group three. So I think he's around the $3 mark at the moment. Um, then we're going up north, up to Doombin on a heavy track. 
race seven, number three, abounding. Went to a new level last night. Has had a little bit of a break in between runs, but if it does what it did last time, it will be winning this race. And one of my favourite horses as well, which is back up on his uh, home turf, Rothfire, race eight, number one. Great first up record, five from nine. Has won a trial, not much pace in the race. Has drawn barrier one, which on the heavy track may be a little bit scary, but we'll see how the track's playing. Uh, I would wait on the price with this. I think it's around 375 with Boombet leading the way. Often when Boombet are top price, the price does ease. So watch out for that as well. So heavy track, barrier one, 61 kilos. I'm going to wait on the price, see how the track's playing. But if it's leader-ish, just jump on straight away. Those are my three. So four official Saturday set tips. My confidence levels are high. Over to you, Fizz. Yeah, I think it'll be dry by the time they run in Brisbane on the weekend. From what I looked at, it's Good. about 33 degrees every day and no rain. So should be all right. But I'm going to start in Ascot race four, number two, horse called Mungo Jerry. It's the final of the um, of the country championship sort of final over there. Pike rides. It's barrier 14. I think it'll sit outside the leader. She'll give us a run for our money. I'm going Pike again. Race eight, number seven, Duchess of Gossip. He got he got he fell back onto the inside and got ran into the ass of horses last start. It was pretty unlucky. I th- I don't think he'll make the same mistake again. I think he'll sit third or fourth and win. Um, I'm going to Doombin. Race three, number fourteen. I am fearless. It's a country stampede final. Barrier two looks to sit on speed. Good bet for me. Um, race seven, number three. I'm I'm with Kings abounding. Although it's on the drift, uh, I just think they had a little. A tick over trial, ran six out of six in the trial, but it didn't worry me. The trial looked all right. Um, I think if it if it does what it did last start, it'll be winning. Morpherville race four, number five, Aruga Mama was on it last start. I can't see it getting any harder run this start. 1950 metres, same as last time. I think it'll be winning. And then one of my really strong bets, race 10, number nine, Clabelle. It's first up, trialed well, about $4. Good price to have a crack at. I mean, interested in it, and uh, that's it for me. Which is the best fizzer? Oh, Club Bell's probably my biggest bet, and Duchess of Gossip, they're my two. Okay, excellent. Um, content, bit of content going on at the moment. Mm. You watched the Chris Lee's podcast last night, I think. Yeah, so fantastic. Yeah, he spoke very candidly about a lot of things. Samantha Miss, I found really interesting yeah. as well. As a lot of the old stories, Lusk and Star, no, he's great. Yeah, it was really good. So and thank you very much for coming in as well, Chris. Really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, it's amazing. People are so giving with their time, which allows yep. us to make the engaging content that people like. So if you haven't watched that podcast, go check it out. I drove down to Kembla Grange yesterday to visit Mitch Beer and the horse Suspect, which some of you might know. Mitch Beer offered a horse Suspect for people in the den to get involved, as quite a few of us did. We drove down there yesterday to check out Suspect in his new home and did a podcast with Mitch. Really cool. He's a very funny guy. We'll drop that. Probably a, maybe about two weeks from now. Also, next week um, we're going to do a Wolfden University. We're dusting off the Wolfden University brand, and we're going to do it for the Inter Dominion. Okay. Uh, Ryan Spice, who's a, a very good trots and pacing judge, is coming down from Brizzy to spend some time with us, and we'll put a lot of effort into it, simply to try and help everyone out there improve their trots and pacing punting. I don't punt trots, but I imagine that the mapping would be super important. Mm. If you're back on the fence there, it'd be so hard to get out. Yeah, and I believe you might pop into the den on Tuesday night when we start doing our, when we have our first lecture. To You're always a student, aren't if you? If I'm coming in, I am betting. Well, that's right. That's why we want you to come in. Yeah, good. Yes. Well, I will be. I'll be here. I'll Great. be betting. Heat's night, is it? Yes. Okay, cool. Yes. Um, and then we're going to back it all up on Inter Dominion final night with a live stream. Um, it's going to be called the Wolf Den Christmas Party. I don't think you're going to be here. I think you, you have another commitment that night. So um, that's that's the content wrap. The comps are running, of course. Make sure you play them. Thursday, Greyhound God tonight, 1000 yeah, bucks. Then tomorrow, Friday night racing. I'm not sure exactly where it's at. Yep. And then Saturday, uh, $2,000 comp on Saturday on the uh, two main meetings at Caulfield and also in Sydney at uh, Randwick or Rose Hill or Wollongong or Newcastle, wherever they're on. Excellent. I haven't got around to it. Fantastic. So that's the wrap for the week. How good's the punt? Even when you're losing, um, we still love it. This is life we've chosen, as we said. Yeah, well, update on on my punting. I've turned things around a little bit. I've lowered my limits, and whenever you lower your limits, you start backing a few winners. So I have stabilised things, turned it around, and onwards and upwards. And it's a slow, steady march back. It's a grind. It's not Yeah, it's not going to happen. You're not going to turn this around for quite some time, are you? No, I'm going to grind my way out of it, and that's when I'm at my best. I love grinding. Grinding these bookies into the ground. That's, that's what it. I do. That's it. Up the den. See you next week. Think, is this a bet you really want to place? For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.